An enumeration, also known as enum, is a type that represents a finite set of distinct values. Enumerations are commonly used to implement data types for which we know all possible values from the start. Since a field with an enum type cannot be set to something from outside that small set of well-known values, we can ensure that the logic we implement handle all possible options and no scenarios are left unconsidered, thus improving code clarity and reliability. I dug a bit into the history but couldn't find any specific reasons why enums were not on the features list, even though Java had had them for a long time. One rationality that often came up was that Scala was supposed to be sufficiently flexible that enumerations weren't necessary as a language feature. Developers who needed enums could implement them via other Scala features. For example, the standard Scala library had the enumeration class that provided the same functionality, although in a quirky way. Scala also offered another, more robust if somewhat wordy solution, a mix of sealed traits, case classes, and case objects. Finally, Scala 3 introduced enumerations as a language feature, and that's what we are going to talk about. As an example, we will implement an enum weekday, with values being the days of the week. It feels very natural to model days of the week with an enum. There is a finite number of them, there will never be more, and the values are discrete. That is, there is nothing in the middle between Wednesday and Thursday, for example. It's either Wednesday or Thursday, that's it. Each enum value can have its own data. In our example, we will have shorthand names for the enum values mon, tu, wed, and so on. And we will create a field called name for each, with the full name in English. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Now let's leave that enum in a separate file, and in the main file we will just have the main method. By the way, you can use a live template and let IntelliJ IDEA generate the main method for you. Live templates are defined in Settings, Editor, Live Templates. You can expand the Scala section here, browse through them, and learn how they can help you. You trigger them by just writing their name in the editor and then hitting Tab to make IntelliJ IDEA put them in the code. You can also add your own templates. In the main method, we will go through weekday values and print them out, but with a twist. If the day is on the weekend, we will make its name uppercase. As you can see, we can use exhaustive pattern matching to make IntelliJ IDEA generate all the cases. Enumerations resemble field traits, with enum values basically being case objects, and that makes exhaustive pattern matching work similar to when we use this feature for sealed traits. Since IntelliJ IDEA with the Scala plugin knows all the enum values of weekday, it can generate the code for us. Oh, and we can also shorten that generated code a bit by auto-importing all enum values. But actually, pattern matching will not help us with what we want to do. Instead, let's write a method called isOnWeekend and then use it in an if-else statement where we will print out the name, be it upper or lowercase. The method is on weekend will simply check whether the enum value is Saturday or Sunday. You can see that IntelliJ IDEA shows them in code completion proposals together with the name. Okay, now let's just write our if-else. And then we can run the code. Okay, works. We can also create a custom companion object for our enum. Let's do it, and then let's add a method that checks whether the day's name has the letter R in it. So dev has R in the name, day, weekday, type boolean, 
day name contains R. And now let's go back to the main method and add that check at the top of our if else statement. And if it returns true, we will print out R on top of the day's name. Note that the method's name is displayed in the code completion proposals if I start to type weekday and adopt, but also if I start to type day as if it were not a weekday companion object method, but one of the weekday enum uh, value methods. This is not an error. If I now choose it, IntelliJ IDEA replaced what I wrote with the proper method code. The last thing I want to discuss is the compatibility of Scala and Java enumerations. Let's create a Java enum called month with month as value. Uh, for short, we will use only January, February, and March. Adding fields to enum values in Java is a bit more complicated than in Scala. We need a public final field called label and a constructor. And now we can give the months their proper names. I didn't call the field name because a Java enum already has a name field. It holds the case itself as a string. So Jan, Feb, and Mar. As you can see, we can use those values and their fields in Scala out of the box. And IntelliJ IDEA displays them in code completion without any issues. To do the opposite, that is, access a Scala enum in Java, we will create a Java class called test with the main method, and we will just print out the name of the day. To be able to do that, we need to extend the Scala enum from Java lang enum and use weekday as its parameter. We also need to change the field name to something else let's say label, so we won't have a conflict with the Java enum field with the same name. As you can see, renaming with IntelliJ IDEA works well across language borders. Let's run it. Great. Now we can access the Scala enum from Java like this, similar to how Scala can access Java enums. And everything works. And that's all. Thanks for watching. To learn more about what IntelliJ IDEA can do for you, look for more videos like this one on our channel, like and subscribe, read our blog, or chat with the development team on our Discord server. Links in the description. Happy developing!